Hi guys, uh, my name is Mr. Peter Rousseau. Uh, call me Mr. Rousseau or Sir, uh, but prefer that. While I am sitting at home, one of the coolest things I think ever is I am able to uh, teach you from home. I hope I do a good job of it. Uh, if I don't, then say something, because uh, I like to do it good. Cool. Well, to start off with, since I'm teaching you maths, uh, I thought that I will show you around my home. And the first thing that we need to do when it comes to maths is understand that we are working with numbers. And numbers are all around us. So let me take you around the house and show you where we can find some numbers. Okay. First of all, this is the couch where I was sitting. That is uh, our lounge. Very big couch, that one. Okay, just a little bit of our house. Here's the kitchen. Now, in numbers, you will find a lot in the kitchen. Okay, let me go around showing you some of the numbers that we might find. Now, I have a little piece of paper here, and I'm just going to write everything we find. Write that down so we can analyze it a little bit later. Here we have a box of juice. So on the juice we see there's two liters. So we get the number two liters. We found that one. Okay, right next to it you might see a pack of spices. Okay, the spices has got um, it's rubbed off a little bit but it's got a weight on it. But what you might be able to see is that it also has a price on it. So I was just writing it down there. The price is 50 Rand and 75 cents. Now each of these bottles also have a number on it. They are 100 milliliter bottles. It's very small so you might not see it but let me write it down. 100 milliliter bottle. Okay we go around. I'm sure if we're going to dig in that cupboard where there's a lot of food then uh, you'll definitely get numbers there but we've got some of those numbers now okay let's see on the fridge maybe there's some numbers on the fridge oh look at that that's lovely you can't see it there it's very small but there's a number that's showing negative 15 that's the freezer's temperature negative 15 oh that's a brilliant number negative 15 degrees celsius cool we're getting there, we're getting quite a lot of, of numbers on here as an eating plan, day one, day two, day three, okay, these days are numbered, not going to write that down. This is actually a bookshelf I built myself. It's massive, okay, it took quite a while, but I loved it. I am quite um, keen on carpentry and I built this and you'll see that it's got a triangular shape to the side of it. Not a perfect triangle, but it's definitely got a triangular shape to it. And because it's a triangle and I know maths, I'm able to calculate that width. Okay, so that width I was able to calculate and um, to decide how wide I wanted the shelf to be. Okay, similarly you'll see the shelves have different heights. Okay, so that bigger books can fit in the in a in a bigger compartment, and that also I had to calculate given the distance that I used there. So you should have seen all the maths I did there. It was lovely. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, the person who made this chair, I didn't make that. But the person who did had to calculate um, the radius that he was going to use. In other words, the distance from the center to the end, or maybe the distance from this side to that side. Okay, so he also definitely used numbers, but it's not that evident. Let me just get my book here. Because here is a table that I wanted to show you. Okay, this is also a round table. And uh, the, this table has a type of sticker that was stuck on the, the, the surface of the wood. Okay, now for this sticker that goes around here. Okay, on the side. See it there? Okay, for that sticker we had to, he had to calculate that distance. So I am going to try and measure that distance. So let's see. Put it there. 
Let's see. Yeah. Should be fine. Let's try and measure that distance. Okay. You actually see it's quite difficult. This is a measuring tape. Even if I turn it around, measuring something, we call it circumference, is actually quite difficult. And I'm going to waste my time trying to do that a lot. One option is I can take a piece of string and wrap it all around to the edge and then measure it afterwards. Okay, but there's actually an easier way. Okay, because the qualities of mathematics, we are able to only measure the diameter that is exactly 300 and fifth, uh, sorry, 400, 450 millimeters. So I'm going to write that down. Four hundred and fifteen milliliters because we are going to use that a little bit later to calculate what is that distance right around. Okay, let's go ahead, look somewhat further into my home. Picture of me and my wife. She's a total babe. Okay. Uh, that's not a picture of me by the way. Oh, this is our mountain bike. We recently started uh, to do mountain biking. They clean now, but they were very dirty. And uh, there's actually some numbers on them as well. You might not see it, but the gears are numbered. So this is uh, gear 1, gear 2, gear 3, and each time you press that or that lever, it switches the gears up and down. So those numbers represent these gears front gears and as you'll see these gears on you have a bigger one smaller one and an even smaller one there's three gears so those gears are numbered numbered one two and three okay another thing that's numbered and I'm going to write that down just now is books when we look at books one of my favorite books I hope you have read it or you will read it. It's really brilliant. I love it. There's the book Chronicles of Narnia. If I open but this book anywhere, it is got numbers. There's a page number, 274. That means that's the 274th page. Clever, say hello to my audience. This is our cat. Okay, he says hello. Not only that, but the chapters are also numbered. Chapter 6. Did you get that, Ollie? He's not much of a mathematician. Okay. So we can number things. Get my pen. We can number things. Okay, number 1, 2, and 3. I think that's quite enough. Let's go analyze these numbers in a short lesson.